Hey there, vape fans, and welcome to another Mount Baker Vapor product spotlight. My name is Lisa, and today we're going to be going over the Kanger Genitank Clearomizer. When you get your Jenny Tank in the mail, it's going to come in this nice little box here. If we open it up, see we've got our Jenny Tank right here. Got a nice little beauty ring and an extra coil. The Jenny Tank actually comes in three separate sizes. Uh, this one right here is the regular size, and that'll be a 2.5 mil capacity. Uh, the Mega right here is a 3.8 mil capacity, and the Mini has a 1.5 mil capacity. The Genitank is a bottom dual coil clearomizer tank, and it's made out of stainless steel and glass. Um, it has a 510 connection here, so it'll fit on any of your 510 threaded devices, and it also has a removable stainless steel drip tip. The Mega and regular size are going to have 510 threading on the bottom here, and the Mini actually has Ego threading. To fill your Jenny tank, just turn it upside down and unscrew this very bottom base here. You can set that aside, and then you'll want to keep it tilted while you fill, and that's to avoid getting juice down that center chimney there. That actually leads right to the drip tip, so you'll just get a big mess. And you want to fill it to just right under this, where this glass is right here. You don't want to overfill it because, again, you'll get a big mess. And when you get your tank filled, you can just take your base and coil unit and replace it. And you're ready to vape. To replace the coil on your Jenna tank, you're going to unscrew from the very same place that you fill from. and then unscrew your old coil from the base. You can throw your old coil away and then replace it with your new one. This will thread right back into where the old one was. You'll just wanna make sure not to cross your threads or over tighten it. But once you have your coil in there, you can take your top cap and replace it. Anytime you change the coil in one of these tanks, you're going to want to make sure to let it prime for about two to five minutes. And that's just letting it sit there uh, to give the juice a chance to fully saturate those wicks. And that's just to avoid getting any dry hits. And all of these tanks do have an airflow control uh, down here on the base. If you can see down here, we've got our airflow control. And all you got to do is spin it in either direction to either expose more of the holes or cover them up to get to wherever your preference is. All right, and that's all there is for the Kanger Genitank Clearomizer. If you guys have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below. If you guys find these videos helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, we'll see you next time.